Greetings, my friends. Today's yoga class is targeting cramps and menstrual pains. Now for this class today, you will need a block or two books and a comfy pillow. Now go ahead and grab some water, find a comfortable space inside or outside your home. We'll go ahead and get started. We begin our practice today in a comfortable seated position. That could be glutes on the heels, could be crisscrossing your legs. Now from here, you're going to place one hand onto your heart, one hand onto your belly. You're going to begin to focus on the breath. Take a full inhale here. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. On your next inhale, begin to expand through the belly. Lifting to the rib cage, all the way up to the chest and shoulders. And exhale, chest and shoulders, rib cage, belly. When you get to the belly, pull the belly button back towards the spine. Let's take another one here. Inhale through the belly, rib cage, all the way up to the chest and shoulders. And exhale, chest and shoulders, rib cage, belly. From here, place both hands onto your heart. Close your eyes and slightly tuck your chin. Begin to check in with yourself. What emotions are you feeling right now? What things can you let go of on the mat today? Right, so from here, we're going to find a bind with the fingertips and we're going to press the palms out towards the front of the mat. And then we're going to reach both arms up towards the ceiling, finding a nice little back bend here. Release the hands, take a full inhale. On your exhale, drop your left palm to the earth and begin to lean towards the left with the right fingertips, elongating through the side body. Inhale, swoop both arms up towards the ceiling. And exhale, place your right palm to the earth, begin to lean towards the right. Inhale, swoop both arms up towards the ceiling. And exhale, hands meet at heart center. From here, go ahead and grab your pillow. And find your feet so that way they are to the width of the mat. Big toes come to touch. From here, bring your forearms to the earth. And bring your head to melt down onto the pillow. Now, if you'd prefer, you can always bring your knees to touch. It's just a different variation of child's pose. Or if you'd like, you can keep the knees out the width of the mat. And begin to bring some awareness to the tailbone. Acknowledging and seeing if you maybe shift side to side, if that helps you open up through the hips. Imagine a line from your tailbone all the way up to the top of the neck. Begin to soften into this space. And breathe here. Knowing that you are grounded, you are supported. The only thing that you really need to focus on in this moment is your breath. Full, elongated inhales. Slow, smooth, soft exhales. And slowly begin to lift the head. Press the palms back to the earth. Take it nice and slow coming out of this. Swoop the legs to the side, coming to a seat. So we're going to be on the glutes. From here, we're going to bring the soles of the feet to touch. Wiggle out the glutes, creating a nice straight spine. Use your fingertips to open up the feet like they're pages of a book. Take a full inhale to elongate. Then on your exhale, slowly hinge forward. Option here to use the pillow. I like to bring the pillow uh, on top of my feet. Then from here, I let my belly sink in and I round a little bit through the top of the spine. And this is just because when I'm having cramps, I really don't like to go fully forward. Now, if you do, that is totally up to you. But for me, I'm just focusing on opening up through the hips here. If you'd like, you can always use two pillows as well. If you're craving something more, a little bit more of a support for your forehead to rest on. Continue to focus on that breath, breathing into the tight spaces of the body. A 
beautiful. Slowly press into the hands, finding a nice straight spine. Well, from here, go ahead and remove your pillow to the side and find a wide-legged stance with your legs. From here, bring your hands behind your back, lightly scooting the glute up. This is gonna help create more space. Now from here, slowly begin to wiggle out the glutes, creating a nice straight spine. We have that option if you liked the pillow, you can bring the pillow forward or you can get two pillows on top of each other. Just gonna inhale, finding space. And exhale, lightly hinge forward, possibly placing the forearms onto the pillow. I like to take this further, you can scooch up a little bit more. And use your stomach to rest onto the pillow. Finding whatever variation is comfortable for you here. Maybe just staying straight up with the wide-legged stance is enough, and that's okay. Maybe you start off halfway folding, and as you sink into this pose, you begin to notice that you can surrender to the earth just a little bit more. Note that in this yoga practice, it's not about becoming flexible. It's about being in our bodies, experiencing the sensations and feeling the tightness and noticing as we slowly breathe into these spaces how much more we can let go. And for me, I like to wiggle my toes back and forth. It helps me when I'm in these deeper stretches. Well, from here, you're going to slowly walk the fingertips towards your right foot. And place your hands onto your calf. You could use your peace fingers to reach for your big toe. I like to bring both hands to my foot. Another great option here would be to use a strap, wrapping the strap around the foot as well. Just breathing space and air into the side body here. Slowly walk the hands back to center. Make our way to the opposite foot, so our left foot. Placing the hands either on the foot, bring your hands to the calf, Use your peace fingers for your big toe, yogi's choice. Begin to breathe into this space and begin to soften here. Slowly walk the hands back to center. And craving something a little extra, you have the option here to tuck the chin and lean the head and neck back. Going back and forth here, just opening up through the throat and through the back of the neck. And take as many of these as you like, and when you're ready, slowly press into the palms, finding a straight spine. When you get to the top, slowly begin to roll your head in whichever direction you feel called to. Now take it the opposite direction. Take this at your pace. If you like it slower, slow it down. If you want it faster, speed it up. And slowly remove your pillow to the side. Come to a comfortable seated position. Bring your hands to your knees. Inhale, shine your heart forward, open up through the neck. Then exhale, tuck your chin round through the spine. Inhale, shine the heart forward. And exhale, tuck the chin round the spine. Inhale, shine forward. And exhale, tuck the chin round the spine. Inhale, come back to center. From here, we're gonna pretend that the hips are a bowl, our torso is a spoon, creating a circular motion here, going whichever direction you feel called to start in. Take it the opposite direction when you're feeling ready to. Craving something more, you can always pause the video here, spend more time in this. Once you're ready, slowly begin to walk the fingertips out in front of you, finding a fold over our cross legs. Now, if you're not feeling the legs crossed, you can always extend them out long in front of you. It's another great option here. Slowly 
slowly press into the palms, finding a nice straight spine. From here, grab your block, place it at the top of the mat, long ways, and place the pillow on top of that block. Nice. Now from here, we're going to go ahead and bring our back to the pillow. So mid-spine is going to be where that pillow is at. And from here, we're just going to lean back. So that way, our shoulders and our upper back is supported. Extend the feet out long, or you can bring the soles of feet to touch. Hands are going to rest by this side, palms face up. And the head and neck are going to lean back. So we're in a su supported fish pose here. The goal here is to open up through the chest, open up through the heart. You know, having the feet in a bound angle is just a little extra hip opener, but completely optional. You can always point your toes or bring each toe to each corner of the mat. And continue to breathe here. Slowly brings the movement back to the head. Press into the palms. Slowly bring your torso up to a seat. Remove the pillow to the side. Remove your block to the side as well. We're just going to lean back so we're on our backs. Nice straight spine. Inhale, extend the arms long. Point the toes like you're an elastic band being pulled in both directions. Become as long as you can. From here, stamp both feet onto the earth. Knees are bent. Go ahead and grab your block. You're going to lift up the hips. You're going to place that block directly underneath the tailbone. From here, hands are by the side. You're just going to extend the left foot to the left corner of the mat, right foot to the right corner of the mat. Bring your way into a supported bridge. Oh, my block is on the lower setting, but if you're craving something more, you can always stack two blocks on top of each other. If you'd like, you can always just use the pillow as well. And continue to breathe into this space. Really focus on those slow, long inhales, followed by those full body exhales. Slowly bend into the knees, stamping the feet to the earth, and remove your block to the side of the mat. Reset, inhale, full body stretch, extend the arms long, point the toes, become as long as you can. On your exhale, bring both knees into your chest and begin to circle the knees in whichever direction you'd like to start. And take it the opposite direction. From here, I'm going to go ahead and stamp the feet back to the earth. We're going to bring our right ankle over our left knee. And from here, we're going to bring the knee into our chest. And begin to rotate that left ankle and take it the opposite direction. And bring your arms out into a T. Take a full inhale. Then on your exhale, we're going to bring that right foot to the left side body, working our way into a figure four supine twist. Now, if this isn't your jam, you can always bring both knees to touch, and you could always place your left hand on top of those knees to help deepen your twist. 
Well, the great thing about this figure four supine twist is it helps open up along the hip flexors. So it's giving you a little bit more than just that shoulder opener. Inhale, come back to center. Stamp both feet to the earth. Working towards the other side, left ankle over right knee. Bring the knee into the chest. And to rotate that right foot. Just opening up through the ankle. You may hear little pops and cracks. That's okay. Take it the opposite direction. Bring your arms onto a T. Take a full inhale. And your exhale, bringing that left foot to the right side body. Figure four supine twist opposite side. And breathe into this space. Once again, if you're not vibing this option, you can always bring the knees together going into the tradi traditional supine twist. Inhale the knees back to center. Let's take a full body stretch to reset. Extend the arms long, point the toes. Like you're an elastic band being pulled in both directions. How much space can you take? And when you're ready, bring your soles of feet to touch, coming into that bound angle, supported by the earth. And bring your hands to your stomach. Begin to breathe into this space, feeling the natural rhythm of your breath, feeling the stomach rise, feeling it sink. Acknowledging if you are feeling any kind of cramps in this area, just acknowledging it's part of the process. And as humans, we sometimes suffer a little bit of pain in the body. And we acknowledge that pain, we breathe through it, and we become a lot stronger. And just know whatever you're feeling right now is totally natural and it's going to pass soon. Just be in this space. Not many things in life that we can control that are outside of us, but what we can control is how we choose to handle things going on inside of us. And just note that. And from here, send your left foot to the left corner of the mat, right foot to the right corner, coming into our final Shavasana. Now, if you're craving some more time here, which I do suggest staying here for at least three minutes, go ahead and pause the video, put on your favorite song that you like to relax to, and just breathe. Be here. I can't promise that thoughts aren't going to arise, but if they do, acknowledge them. Acknowledge if they're quality, if they're supporting you, if they're helping you, or if you can leave them on the mat today and surrender them to this space. Begin to bring some awareness back to the body. I'm picking either the left side or the right side, coming into the fetal position. Knees touch, elbows touch. And pause here for a moment. And just breathe into this space, begin to acknowledge the little shifts and changes that have been made from the start of this practice all the way to this moment now. slowly make your way to a seated position. Be nice and gentle with your body here. Maybe give yourself one little neck roll here and take the opposite direction. Slowly awakening the body. From here, we're going to go ahead and cross the arms to grab our shoulders. Giving yourself a little hug here. And just note that you are loved, you are supported, you are grounded. Give yourself a big, 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 big squeeze as tight as you can. Knowing that you deserve this love. It's always here for you. Release your hands to heart center. If you enjoyed this class and found it helpful, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment. I'll see you next class. Namaste.